What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Austin Show. I'm back with another Marvel Legends. This time we have the deluxe MODOK figure. So this thing looks awesome. So we have a MODOK, which originally was a Build-A-Figure and I'm pretty sure we missed out on that one in the past. So they made this deluxe one, which looks really cool. So we have MODOK, our mental organism designed only for killing. So it's a pretty fun name. We got MODOK here with his big giant head in his floating chair and just looks awesome, I think. And we can go around to the back. So there's of course like a picture of MODOK there on this side, but there on the back, you can see a better picture of what the figure is going to look like and some of the features of the figure. So I think this list looks awesome. I'm excited to check this figure out. This is a figure I've been excited about for a while and I'm glad we were able to pick this up at our target. So I'm excited to open up this figure and check it out. So let me get it open and we'll do that together. So here we've got MODOK and this thing is awesome. This is like one of the coolest Marvel Legends ever to me and it is huge. This thing is like so big like it's hard to compare just like of course here's my hand next to it. It's just so huge. I was not expecting it to be as big as it is but this thing just looks awesome. So it's pretty much just a action figure that's been stuck into this giant chair. So we have MODOK, as I mentioned earlier, is the mental organism designed only for killing, so it's an acronym there. But his real name is George Charlton. That was a technician working for AIM, and he ended up being mutated into a human computer by Scientist Supreme, which we will be getting an action figure of that later this year. But turning him into the human computer made his brain grow, which also made his head grow. So his head became way too big for his body, so he wasn't able to function anymore. So they built him this big chair to kind of plop his body into it, and he's kind of stuck in there for now and it kind of keeps him alive and moving around. But we have his doomsday chair as it's called and it just kind of helps give him a bunch of abilities and he himself also got abilities within the transition. So as you can see, we have his giant head here. So there's the giant head of Carlton. And I know not everyone's crazy about it, but we do see this process happen in the Marvel's Avengers game, the game that a lot of people hate. We do see Carlton go from a normal human forming into MODOK. And then we also see Scientist Supreme of Lyle Getz and everything. So I think that's all pretty awesome. It gives some backstory to this character. But again, he's a human with this giant head. So we have this awesome giant head there. We can see his big mouth, his eyes, there's a little tiny nose, his hair on top. So he's got like a bowl cut hair design. I actually like the hair design, just the way it's detailed and stuff with all the brown and then all the highlights on top of it just looks great. And then as I mentioned, he's thrown into this doomsday chair. So we got his arms sticking out, his legs sticking out, and then the rest of them is all like chair. So we have a little control thing here so it can, you know, make it drive around and stuff. We have a little communicator piece. So as he talks, you know, kind of does some stuff, a little floating chair piece around here, big giant piece on the back kind of like a name design there on the back and then a little floaty piece down here with a flame coming out setting on this flame base and it does all come apart so it's like a ball joint up in there and then it sits on this flame piece that you can pop off but it also allows it to twist around so it's just an overall great design like I said this has probably got to be one of my most favorite Marvel Legends ever it is an action figure so we do have some movements I already showed some of the movements going on with the chair but then we have some actual body movements so the shoulders actually have some decent movements to them so the shoulders can rotate around and they can kind of raise up there and move back and so actually pretty decent movements there in the shoulders overall and then as you can see we've got a single elbow joint there that can bend up to 90 degrees and it has the rotation in it and then the wrist can also twist around and flex back and forth and pretty similar for his legs as well so we got the legs there that can kind of move around there move up and down and twist side to side and then we got his thigh twist right in there so it can twist his leg all the way around we got a double knee joint that can bend all the way up it's kind of hard with the way the with chairs design stuff but you can get a bend that far with it and then his foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side Side. So again, we have all those movements, but he doesn't really need them because he's just sitting in a chair the whole time. So the only thing that really matters is his hand to be able to move his hands around stuff. And then his little feet just kind of dangle there, but it looks awesome. And with his arms and hands and everything, we do get some additional hands. So we have a fist hand and a hand with like a little trigger figure here to go on this control. So let me go ahead and switch this hand out at least. So there I got the hand on the control. It wasn't the easiest thing. I got the hand on the control first and then popped the hand into the arm. But I still think that looks awesome. Like I said, this is definitely my favorite Marvel Legends figure ever. And then we also get an additional head for it. So there's a head there with like a mouth open and kind of like a scream and everything. And I definitely want to switch this out. To do this, we just have to pop the back off. So Hasbro described this as kind of working like a Mr. Potato Head. So you just pop the back off and you can actually store the extra pieces. So like if you want to, you could put the head in here and then the extra hands as well and pop it back on. So it has all this extra space back here. But you just pop the back off and then you just pop the hair right off. And then it uh, gives you access right to the face and you just slide it out and then put the other face, slide it right back on. Then you just pop the hair right back on and then take the back and just pop it in and we'll go and store the extra pieces so again just place the face down inside there 
throw in those extra hands in there somewhere and then it just slides back on together there and those are stored around there in the back and then now we've got his face there where he's actually got his mouth open and like he's yelling screaming because modok tends to do that a lot and as i mentioned this thing is so big and again hard to get size comparison but it is huge so here's an example here is the king thanos figure right next to it so you can see how much bigger it is and then here's magneto from the house of x wave so again you can just see how big it is compared to them and i just think that makes it awesome just how big it is just makes this big bulky character that I just think it looks absolutely amazing. So we have this now to go along with all of our other aim figures. Of course they're in storage. So we'll now need to get them out and kind of put them on display here with MODOK. And then we got more aim people coming out with the wave later this year. So that'll be super exciting. But I think this just looks awesome. This is such a great figure. And like I said, probably my favorite Marvel Legends figure ever. But let me know your opinions of the MODOK down in the comments. Have you picked this up for yourself or are you going to now after seeing how awesome it is? But if you enjoyed my review, please leave a thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.